Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today, you guys, I, I got a box for you. It is, um, it's definitely gonna be a different box. It'll be a new box to the channel. This is a box that I actually got several requests to do an unboxing of, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a shot. And uh, that is this box right here. It's currently wrapped up in its outer shipping package. Um, but what lies underneath is the Trisha Paytas this is gonna be a fun game. Try to figure out how to describe this box and talk about this box without getting demonetized. The Trisha Paytas glitter box. Um, throughout the video, I'm probably going to be replacing that word with just a word that rhymes with it. So today we're going to be looking at the Trisha Paytas glitter ditch box and uh, it, it, it's right here. This should be definitely a very interesting review. I'm just gonna keep it like a review of the box itself, the items inside, the quality, the value. But if you do not know who Trisha Paytas is, she is a YouTuber. She's been on YouTube for like a really long time. And uh, if you plan on going to look her up after this video, believe me when I say you're in for a wild ride. Anywho, so let's go ahead and get on into this box here. All right, so here is the box right here. It is super different. It's very like shiny silver, which goes with the theme of the box. It is quite heavy and it does seem to be pretty full. This box is a pretty expensive box. It is $60 bi-monthly, so every other month you'll receive this box. And I guess technically it's $59.99, but you have to pay like the taxes and that kind of stuff. But there is free shipping. All right, so when we open it up, there we have a picture of Trish, if you guys haven't seen her. On the top here, we just have a little thank you card but I'm not seeing anywhere that there's like a list of prices. Maybe that's like down inside the box. There is a little glitter hitch sticker here and there's also some star paper. Oh, okay. So uh, right off the bat, it looks like I'm looking into like Barbie suitcase or something. There's a lot of pink going on here, but I guess again, that's probably on theme. All right, the first little guy that we have here is a pink book and it is super glittery. We have the glitter stitch logo here on the corner. It is very glittery, but it's like that soft glitter that's not gonna fall off. Off. It's not Velcro, just stuck together. So I guess this is like a little wallet or something. There are some slots here that look like they go for credit cards, maybe some cash. I'm going to be going to Europe soon and like we have to get on 50 billion different planes to travel around. But just for me personally, not speaking for anybody else, I don't know if I could like hand this to somebody to like stamp my passport. Like here, here's my shiny hot pink glitter witch stamped passport holder. But that's just me. I mean, the quality is okay. You can kind of tell like the inside is probably like cardboard. It seems to be stitched together all right. So there's that. All right, so next up here, we have two different items. Again, both pink. I wore an appropriate outfit today, even though it is like cutting off the circulation on my shoulders. Also, when you fake tan and it starts to wear off, at what point does it stop looking like awful. This is just, it's so patchy. It looks like my skin's crackling apart. Okay, so next up in here, we have another little branded item. This is kind of cute. It's like a little makeup bag. Oh, and it also comes with a strap, so I guess you could use it as a purse. Again, don't know if this is something that I would personally use as a purse, but you know, maybe like a makeup bag. We have the Glitter Hitch logo right there, and then there are two little gold hoops at the end where you can attach the little strap to it. Again, I don't know if I would actually carry this as a purse. It feels it kind of a little bit too flimsy to put a bunch of stuff in. I don't know if I would trust like carrying this around with a bunch of stuff in it. The strap feels okay. The strap feels kind of sturdy, but I'm not sure about the little bag itself. And then we have this bag here, which almost looks like an outer bag for this bag. It's like see-through with pink and gold hardware. Again, it has the two little loops on the end, so maybe you can transfer the strap from this to this. What do you think, Steve? If this was a bit bigger, I could put you in it and carry you around like Paris Hilton in the early 2000s. This bag, again, isn't exactly my personal style, but it does have like a zipper and stuff to it. So I personally would probably use this as a makeup bag. I could see taking this on trips or like to places like to get ready with my makeup. It does feel kind of heavy, but I don't really think it's like the best quality. Some of the like pleather detailing on mine is a little bit like ripped and torn in places, but not too bad. There's a couple little places where there's like kind of some chunks taken out of the plastic, but it's like okay, especially if you're just wanting to use it as like a makeup bag or something and not like an everyday bag. Honestly, I feel like subscription bucks bar Barbie. I rejected Barbie that was never put into creation because they were like, oh no, that, was, that one's too much of a mess. Okay, so next up in here, we just have like a little pink tube of powder. There's nothing on this to like label it to say what it is. So we'll set that to the side. And then the next thing we have in here looks kind of cute. This is a give yourself a glow mask, a peel off hover cocoa London glow mask. Okay, so right off the bat, this packaging looks incredibly familiar, but like I for some reason for the life of me could not remember where I've seen this before. But mine honestly 
looks like it's been really really scratched up like it's been hanging out around somewhere for a while just being scooted about there's all sorts of scratches on the top and all the way around the lid it also is like definitely leaked around the outer portion here there's like dried up mask all the way around it there's also mask underneath the spoon that's like keeping it on there i'm gonna assume that it's leaked at some point it honestly looks like it's been used before but i don't i don't think it actually has I'm sure it's just a leak oh it's kind of beautiful though I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that looks like a straight up galaxy. That's really pretty. And then the mask itself is like super, super glittery and pink. I will say that I'm not a humongous fan of like little tiny micro glitters like this in face products or any type of body product or anything because it's just gonna be kind of like washed away. This one is a peel off mask, so you're not gonna be washing it off in the sink. I'm just, I'm not sure why the top of this is so dirty. It almost looks like it has been opened and then like the lid's been put back on because when I did that, a little bit smooshed out of the sides, kind of in the same exact pattern that it was on here. So that is interesting. Oh, okay. So next up here, we have one of these little like jade rollers. I'm not sure if this is actually jade though because I'm pretty sure jade's green. Is it green? But, but this is like a pink maybe rose quartz roller. I don't know if it's actually rose quartz or just some type of glass. There's absolutely no packaging, no instructions, nothing to say what it is and I still have not come across like any type of insert that says like what these things are or what they do. Um, also, there's nothing that says like the full size prices of these items, which I think is a little bit, a little bit not good because you are paying $60 a month for this box. And I would like to know how much these things are actually like worth. But anyway, here is a little roller. They do feel really good, especially right now. It is 10 billion degrees in this room. That's why this patchy sun-kissed orange tan I have going on is out and about because it's just too hot to wear a full shirt. I mean, this does feel nice. I feel like you can find these pretty much anywhere like TJ Maxx. You could probably order these on like Amazon. I think it's cute. I like the pale pink color. It does go with the theme of the box. All right, so next up in here, we have some glitter glitch uh, glitter. Um, uh, which is definitely appropriate for the box. I'm kind of surprised that this isn't like pink glitter, but we have kind of an aqua and then we have a silver. All right, so again, it looks like we have some spillage here. It looks like the blue glitter has kind of fallen out. I mean, these are super, super pretty glitters. Let me see if I can do this without spilling it into my coffee. I, I guess I should probably move my coffee. <laughs> Steve! Uh, I, I think Steve likes this bag. He tried to use it as a cheap toy. All right, so here is the blue chunky glitter. It is a really pretty color. This is super, super big glitter though, so I would not recommend putting this on your eyes. I'm sure it's not eye safe. And then we have like a silver, I don't know, is that hollow? Silver, hollowy looking glitter. It is, again, really, really pretty. Just make sure that you're not gonna put this on your eyes because those big hunks can get in there and scratch up your corneas. This might not be a box exactly for me because I'm not really sure when or where I would use like body glitter or hair glitter. Um, I'm not exactly Coachella going folk. So <laughs> I don't really know when else I would wear big hunky chunky glitter like this. Maybe for like Halloween or if I'm having like some type of party. Again, don't know when I would have a party, but you know. Okay, next up here, we have something from Nick. Uh, Nick Chavez Beverly Hills. This is a Diva Glitzy Silky Styling Glaze Body and Bounce. That is a lot of adjectives on there. So I am assuming this is a hair product. I'm gonna give it a little sniff just to see what it smells like. Okay, it smells pretty good. It smells kind of like just like a salon. It looks maybe kind of like a gel. Are you eating the confetti? No. Oh gosh, that scared me. It's just kind of like a clear gel. I'm assuming it's supposed to help you with styling. Maybe I could- oh, oh! Oh, I dropped the pink tube. Maybe I could put it on this like peacock bun I got going on here. That's probably not how you're supposed to use it at all. Oh no, it says apply a quarter size amount through towel dried hair and style with a blow dryer or let dry naturally. So it's not a gel. It's not a styling gel. Um, but it's on my head now, so that's fine. And then the very last thing we have in here, this is something that I have seen people talk about because it's different. So we have our just trademarked uh, glitter itch, ditch, witch, glitch, rich. Our glitter rich popcorn here. Our glitter kitsch popcorn maker. Here we have a pink collapsible silicone bowl. There are a lot of things in here that do have that logo on it. So I guess, you know, that is good to have some branded items. It makes the box feel a little bit more personal. And this is the little lid that goes on top of it. Why does it go so far down? It goes like all the way 
what? Is that how this is supposed to happen? Okay, so the lid I expected to like set up here, but maybe that has something to do with like the cooking process. And I guess you literally cook your stuff in here. Oh, that's the glitter. Okay, so this tube that I dropped on the floor is the glitter, which is like a sweet topping that goes on top of your popcorn. Oh, we gotta try this. Oh, I'm late for work. Okay, so I will definitely be trying this later. I'll insert like a little section of me like actually attempting to make popcorn in this thing. Um, It seems very interesting. Thing, so I'm excited to give it a go. I do love some popcorn. So this is good. Hello everybody I am back from work just looking oh so put together and we are gonna be making some popcorn here So I have the little silicone bowl and the lid. We also have the tube of pink and then finally our popcorn kernels All right in go the corn and then the silicone lid goes back on i guess it is supposed to set down in here because that's going to create like the steam to make the actual popcorns pop oh look at that oh i'm sitting here in anticipation on my kitchen floor which i honestly think is super appropriate oh <laughs> hi steve oh just ignore all the boxes of like bootleg lacroix we have down here <laughs> all right we made like 24 pieces of popcorn, pretty much exactly. I'm gonna throw this back into the microwave and see if we can get just a little time to put more popcorn to come out. Well, I went to go open the candy glitter for the popcorn and it spilled out quite a bit. So let's just do like a tiny taste test without the actual popcorn. Ooh, I actually kind of like that, but it's not super surprising because I like sugar. So it, it just tastes like nice sugar. Mmm, we're popping now. Oh no! Uh, well, I guess I can successfully say that we have made popcorn. That's actually kind of nifty. The bowl definitely works out. I, maybe I've used too many kernels or something. I think it said you're supposed to spray some like butter or something on it. Uh, I have Pam. Oh my gosh, it is actually glittery. I just thought it was gonna be like pink like sugar, but there is actual glitter in here. Wow, how majestic. All right, bon appetit. <laughs> there might have been just a little bit too much powder on that one. All right, so there is some taste there. It's just really, really subtle unless you dump like half a tube of sugar on it. I don't know, it's a decent, it's kind of fun. It might be fun for like a girl's night or something. But for me personally, I'd probably stick to like regular drench it in movie theater butter popcorn, but it is definitely kind of fun to eat glittery food. All right, you guys, so that was everything inside of the box. This is definitely a different subscription box than we are used to here on the channel. Everything is super, super themed. Everything definitely revolves around that like glittery pink, almost kind of like early Paris Hilton vibes that we talked about earlier. Um, do I think this box is worth $60? That's difficult. Um, for me personally, this isn't exactly my type of style of stuff. The little bags and things like that I can get use out of for like makeup bags. I love food, so you know, a good bowl. This can make a fantastic, well no, I was gonna say cereal bowl. <laughs> Who said one cup of cereal was ever a serving? I'm not a huge fan that this mask here came so like beaten up and also looked like it had been like open before or spilled out. N didn't really like that. The glitters are kind of cute, but I don't think I'll be using them on my face or body, but um, I do love some, some crafts. So this might turn into craft glitter. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I personally don't really think this is worth the $60, but um, I would really love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Let me know if this is like your style of stuff. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think the value is there? I, I really, right now, I know this is her first box, so the... I don't really think this is worth $60. But again, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!